When looking for deadly creatures, you don't have to look too far. Just jump into the ocean and I'm sure you'll be able to find a couple that would happily assist you leave this mortal coil. Kidding aside, the sea is just chock full of deadly creatures, both big and small. Number one has often been dubbed the most venomous fish in the world, so make sure to stay tuned till the end to find out what it is. With that said, here are some of the sea's deadliest creatures. Our first entry is the Bristle Worm. Of the many species of worms, the Bristle Worm is one of the most dangerous. They are large, thick, spindle-shaped worms drawing to about 200 millimeters long. They're easily recognized by their bright red gills, purple spots, and large conspicuous bundles of yellow translucent bristles on each segment. Bristle worms are often found under rocks and corals in tropical areas throughout the world, but you've probably seen one already as they're quite popular among saltwater aquarium aficionados. But being a popular pet doesn't mean they can be handled carelessly. The bristles that these worms are best known for easily break off when the animal is touched. They can easily pierce through the skin, causing a lot of issues including inflammation, burning, swelling, numbness, redness, and of course, mind-numbing pain. Fortunately, bristle worm stings are not fatal, but then again, especially if you encounter them in the wild while diving, getting any of these symptoms may result in something infinitely more tragic. Our next entry is the Moray Eel. Snake-like body, protruding snout and wide jaws, that's a moray. These primitive creatures just kind of look like death. Despite their name, they're not actually eels, but rather fish, and they can be up to 8 feet long. A bite from the razor-sharp teeth and powerful locking jaws will produce ragged wounds that are prone to infection from the bacteria inside the eel's mouth, according to the NOAA. Don't worry though, there is good news. If mores bite out of fear or by accident, especially when foraging for food, they will usually release their grip and let you go. They tend to hide in crevices and holes during the day, then hunt at night. They'll eat any fish or other creature they can catch. So when diving, don't go sticking your hand into dark holes. Our next entry is the Flower Urchin. The Flower Urchin may look pretty, but it's not something to be touched. Each of its flowers is actually a tentacle with a little jaw called a pedicellaria that can inject toxic venoms that could potentially kill you. There seem to be two major components of the poison. They cause pain, interfere with transmissions on nerve endings, thus creating paralysis, and can cause contractions of smooth muscles. Flower urchins are found across the tropical areas of the Indo-West Pacific. They frequent the rebel areas around and between coral reefs when there is an abundance of algae growth. Our next entry is the Textile Cone Snail. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and look pretty innocent, but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. If you're an enthusiastic shell collector, we recommend you handle these fellows with care. Cone snails, for reasons that are pretty obvious, aren't active and aggressive hunters of prey, but rather they harpoon their prey with hollow teeth. These hollow teeth are also filled with lethal venom, by the way. Cone snails can be found in the deep reef waters all the way from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas and also along the coast of Florida, but the ones residing in the Indo-Pacific region tend to have more harmful toxin than others. Do not try your luck anywhere with these creatures, though. The nickname for a cigarette snail comes from the fact that after a sting, you're just gonna have enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. Our next entry is the Dubois Sea Snake. Snakes on land are scary, sure, but when it comes to the fear factor, sea snakes are on an entirely different playing field. Take the Dubois Sea Snake, for instance. This Australian serpent is the most venomous sea snake out there and one of the top three most dangerous snakes in the world. Although predominantly found in Australia, they can also be found in the seas around Papua New Guinea and New Caledonia. They live at depths of up to 260 feet deep in coral reef flats, sandy and silty sediments which contain seaweed, invertebrates, and corals or sponges that can serve as shelter. They feed on everything, but just to illustrate how dangerous they really are, they prey regularly on another vicious animal on this list, the moray eel. Our next entry is the Pufferfish. For long-time viewers, we kind of put this one in a lot of our lists, so you probably know exactly what's coming up. For newbies, though, hello there! The Pufferfish, or the Blowfish, possess venom that's 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. There, some you didn't know. This makes this little guy one of the most toxic animals in the entire world. 
The liver, ovaries, eyes, and skin of most species of pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin. A pred that manages to snag a puffer before it inflates won't feel lucky for long. Almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, and it makes them foul-tasting and often lethal to fish. There is enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote. Amazingly, though, the meat of some pufferfish is considered a delicacy. Called fugu in Japan, it is extremely expensive and only prepared by trained, licensed chefs who know that one bad cut means almost certain death for a customer and a lawsuit for that entire restaurant. Our next entry is the stonefish. These creatures might not be the biggest fish in the ocean, only growing to an average of 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are a living proof of the fact that you don't need to be great in order to be a threat. The stonefish protects itself with 13 venomous dorsal spines capable of killing tissues and putting the human body into shock. The venom of a stonefish can cause excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and even heart failure. A very lethal combination, especially if you're diving miles away from the nearest help. Fortunately, there is an antivenom developed for the stonefish's toxin. Granted, it ain't gonna do you any good, especially if you're out diving alone with no one to help you. Our next entry is the flamboyant cuttlefish. The flamboyant cuttlefish is the only toxic cuttlefish known to exist. This colorful creature has been compared to the blue-ringed octopus, as in its poisonous flesh can kill any predator that dares to feast on it. This small but feisty cuttlefish can be found ambling along the seafloor on two arms and fins that combine to make leg-like appendages. Unlike other cuttlefish species, the flamboyant cuttlefish doesn't dart away when threatened. It remains stationary, flashing its hypnotic color scheme and pulsing its fins as if saying, Go ahead. Try to eat me. It amuses me. Our next entry is the lionfish. Lionfishes might look beautiful, but don't let its looks fool you. The lionfish is named because of the massive array of spines that it has all over its body, which resembles a lion's mane. These spines won't kill you, but they do contain venom so painful it's said to make you wish you were dead. These fish are very wary of humans, so there is little to no danger of a lionfish actively pursuing and poking a diver with one of its spines. These prickly appendages are mainly used for defense against predators. But if you find yourself dying in the Caribbean or Eastern Atlantic, which is where lionfishes are found, I'd advise you to treat the lionfish with the utmost caution. Simply admire these beautiful white-striped creatures from a distance. Never get too close. Our next entry is the Crown of Thorns Starfish. The sharp spines on the sides of the starfish's limbs resemble thorns and create a crown-like shape, thus giving the creature its name. The thorns are very sharp and are capable of piercing through standard wetsuits and other clothing. They're also venomous. This species is a well-known coral predator, and outbreaks of tens of thousands of individuals have been known to cause serious harm to coral reefs in some areas. However, they're not only dangerous to corals, but to humans as well. The crown of thorns produces a neurotoxin which can be released through its spines. Not only are the wounds themselves serious, but the neurotoxin can cause a sharp stinging pain that can last for hours, as well as nausea and vomiting. Frequently, the area around the wound turns a dark blue and begins to swell, which may persist for weeks. The spines themselves may break off and become embedded inside the skin. This can lead to infection and increased toxicity. Our next entry is the Stargazer. Instantly recognizable by the horrified, woeful expression on their upturned faces, stargazers are among the most frightening fish in the ocean. They're capable of vacuuming up, electrocuting, and delivering deadly venom to their enemies. These three attributes are the reasons why the stargazer fish earned its nickname of the meanest thing in creation. For defense, they have two large spines on their backs that allow the fish to inject venom into potential attackers or a misplaced human hand or foot. They are also bioelectrogenic, meaning they are capable of producing electricity, like electric eels and just a handful of other fishes. A specialized organ behind their eyes allows them to deliver electronic shocks to predators. Our next entry is the Striped Sturgeon Fish. Beautiful though they may be, you'll need a surgeon should you cross the path of one of these striped fish. Not only are their caudal spines venomous, but they can also cause deep wounds, much like a surgeon's scalpel, hence their name. This is one of the most beautiful of the surgeon fishes and also one of the most aggressive. And when they are feeling aggressive, they will let you know. These fish are capable of instantaneously changing their color depending on their mood, much like those mood rings, but they actually work. For example, the head will become dark and the body pale when it attacks intruders. Our next entry is the Blue Ringed Octopus. 
Instantly recognizable by their iridescent blue rings, these little octopuses spend most of their time hiding in crevices or camouflage against coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. And you can also find them in quite a few of our videos as well. It is only when threatened that the blue ringed octopus really lives up to its name and shows its true colors. Its skin becomes a bright yellow and the blue rings even more vivid, almost appearing to shimmer. Beautiful as this display might be, it is also a warning that this is one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. What makes this octopus particularly dangerous is its venom. Once again, tetrodotoxin, this incredibly strong neurotoxin is the same as that found in arrow poison frogs and pufferfish. At around 1200 times more potent than cyanide, it's only the slightest nick from a blue ringed octopus that can be fatal. In fact, many victims claim not to have even felt the bite itself. And then they just kinda, you know, drop. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This tiny blue little thing looks like it wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, how wrong you are. Find out how wrong you are with the creature that can be next, the Blue Angel. Also called the Blue Dragon, this is one sea slug that you never want to mess with. Although the animal itself is not venomous, this guy is always packing. You see, it feeds on a variety of venomous creatures, such as venomous siphonophores and Portuguese man of wars. It then stores the stinging nematocysts created by these creatures. The stored stinging cells are so concentrated that when it's touched, the Blue Angel can release these stinging cells to pack an even more painful punch in the Man of War Hydrozoan. And that's our video for today, folks. Tell me, what was your scariest part of this video? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, feel free to subscribe to us to get even better videos every single day. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.